Hi, Bumblebee. I'm glad you saw that I was going to be on today. I didn't know if anybody would catch this. Yes, I went uh, thrifting yesterday at Goodwill. I went to the bigger one. And I went a different way, so it took me a shorter time because I took the highway, and it's faster. And uh, the other way that I usually went, there's all kinds of construction going on. It's all the way up to, to Goodwill, so it's even hard to get into Goodwill. So I came from the other direction, took the highway, came from the other direction, so much easier. I don't know why I didn't try that before. But uh, that's how I'll go from now on. I don't really like to go on the highway anymore. But uh, yeah, it only took me probably less than 10 minutes to get there. So yes, I went, uh, I went thrifting, shopping, because I had run out of new things. I was back to relisting things again. So I thought I better, uh, I have no idea when your May box will come. So I thought I have to go get some things. So uh, here's my receipt. I've got 21 items, 25% uh, off coupon. And uh, it's, it was Friday, so uh, they changed tag days. <laughs> nice to see you, too. And uh, so the half-price tags were blue. I got six blue tags. So um, 15, six of the things were 50% off, and then the other 15 were 35% off. So I didn't have to spend the uh, marked... Uh, price for anything. I spent $62.41. That makes it come out to only $2.97 each, which is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I, I got home yesterday. I was thinking of doing this yesterday, but by the time I got home, it was 3 o'clock. By the time I Put everything in the wash, washed everything, got everything out and ready. It was just, I was too tired. <laughs> so I thought I'd just do it today. So I hung everything, uh, most everything the wrinkles have hung out of. And there's only one, a couple things. Um, one linen shirt, of course, is very wrinkled. And this little pair... Uh, shorts is still very wrinkled. Uh, this pair of short is just by Airy, A E R I E. Uh, they are a an extra small, but I like these kind of real comfy shorts. I think it's like rayon, feels like rayon. They do have pockets, uh, elastic waist, and a little tie uh, belt. So a pretty coral color. So I got those. Should have uh, put a basket here to these in. Uh, the other pair of shorts. I don't know why I didn't buy more shorts because there was a whole long rack of them. I don't know. I should have bought more shorts. These are Old Navy boyfriend shorts. So they're cuffed, uh, just a little pair of uh, shorts. They're not quite booty shorts. Uh, they're just short shorts. <clears throat> I have those. That's the only two pair of shorts I got. I have no idea why I didn't stay in the shorts section longer. I did uh, get some jeans because they are heavy to pack. <laughs> uh, these are 505 straight leg. Black jeans. I think it's, I like black jeans. I don't know if anybody, I, the two pairs of jeans I wear are both black. So uh, these are, what size are these? <clears throat> these are, so 
size of 14 short. So a good size. Because normally, I don't know about you, but normally jeans are so long. Uh, like these would, I could wear a short in jeans. These go to wear right above my shoe. So these are the right size or the right length for me. And I'm not short. I mean, I'm shorter than I used to be. I used to be almost 5'6". Now I'm sort of inching down into 5'4". Uh, yeah. So, yeah, they're in really good condition. A pair of black uh, 14 short women's jeans. <clears throat> Uh, these are cut from the cloth. I keep hearing people selling these. I, I've had them before. I think I only have one pair left. I have sold them, but they're slow sellers for me. These are a size 14 too. 14 also. <laughs> they're just uh, regular blue, you know, medium wash jeans. Uh, cut from the cloth. Uh, I got these because they were half price. <clears throat> the black jeans were full price, so they were 35% off. These were also full price. These are Gap Curvy Flare. So these are a nice flare bottom jean. So anytime I find flare or anything that approaches a bell bottom, I've never, I haven't found any real bell bottoms like we used to wear, you know, in the 80s. I had some gigantic bell bottom pants in the 80s. <clears throat> or in the 70s, was it the 70s or the 80s? Yeah. So that's it for the jeans. <clears throat> so let me start here. Uh, I think when I put these on hangers, you can see them better. Uh, I was really looking for Talbots, and I found this one, Talbots Petites. This is 100% linen. It's a very fine or very thin knit. Uh, like a sweater, but it's it's all linen. And this, the wrinkles hung right out of it. So it has a notched V-neck. It's navy blue. And it's a size uh, medium petite. Oh, it has a high-low hem, I see also. <laughs> this is by Joie. Is that how you pronounce that? J O I E Joie. I think that's it's a uh, animal print. I think it's a cold shoulder. Yes, it's a cold shoulder, which is sort of out right now, but it's silk. So I picked it up. Uh, has a keyhole back. It's a uh, pullover shirt. <clears throat> I picked up that. Now this one, I just couldn't leave it behind. This is a brand that I don't normally pick up, L. It was number one. It was half price with the blue tag. It's a size large, but look at the color. <laughs> uh, it's an open cardigan. Very fine knit, pretty knit uh, cardigan has pockets and the back is sort of a sh uh, it's not a sweater it's not sweater it's like a polyester probably the back of it is and it's all polka dot on the back so that was different enough that I uh, got it and it's a size large open cardigan uh, with long sleeves and little pockets and these pockets are actually pockets. It's 
So I just thought that was sort of cute. This is by Torrid, another open cardigan uh, in this, they call this space dye. And it's sort of this line thing. This is a three, which is three X in the Torrid sizes. So just your normal uh, waterfall or not, or open cardigan. <clears throat> And that was regular, uh, well, it was 35% off. It wasn't the half price. This is by Play Play One or Play Own. I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Is that, I remember, I'm not sure if this is an, uh, anthropology brand or if it's a, its own brand but it is a small it's a very thin knit v-neck sweater in this sort of olive color but it does have a twist waistline here twist uh, at the bottom of the front there pick that up This is by Philosophy, which, which I just sold a piece of Philosophy on Poshmark just a little bit ago. It's the only sale I've made today, but it just came in. Uh, this is high-low, floral, semi-sheer, just a pretty uh, oversized top. This is a small, has elastic sleeves, and this was half price also with a blue tag <clears throat> scoop neck this airy this is bowden and it's a size medium no size 14. it buttons down the front it's a blouse that buttons down the front. It has a scoop neck and little sleeves, little uh, puff sleeves like. In this pink color. I think pink is in this month. <laughs> uh, and I just was looking at trends and now this lime green is coming back to lime green is they're showing. This is Knox Rose. Have to get a piece of Knox Rose. This is a little sleeveless piece. And this is all stretchy on the top. Uh, whatever you call this. When it's... Uh, forget the name of that. Darn it. This is also a blue tag. Got this half price. price. This is a really sort of between a gray and a dark teal. Knox Rose, extra small, little pullover top with a keyhole uh, button back. It's a pretty little print. Torrid, super soft knits. This is a size one, which means it's a one X. And it says, wear what you love. It's super soft, it has little sleeves, and it's gathered here around the bodice there, like an empire waist. And then it has a uh, fuller on the bottom. Real pretty. Little pretty top it has this uh, detailing up here at the neck. This torrid in a one X. This is my bad shoulder that I'm reaching with. Uh, J Jill, pink. 
I picked it up because number one, it's not J. Jill Pure, or it's not J. Jill Linen, it's just J. Jill. But it's a really nice light color of pink button down shirt. Uh, it has a wide, sort of a wide hem on it. It doesn't button all the way up. It's uh, It has sort of a V, notch V neck there. Very classic uh, shirt. Use my other arm here. And I love these kind of shirts, so I always <laughs> pick these up. This is uh, by Old Navy, but it's an extra, extra large. Looks like chambray, but it's sort of heavier. I don't know how heavy can chambray be? Smocked. That's right, smocked. Yes, anthro is play, play oni. Play oni? Okay. Look up the stock pictures on the torrid. Okay. Yeah, I love these for overshirts. This is a little big for me. Uh, the one I just listed, I should have kept. It was a large, would have been perfect for an overshirt for me, but this is an extra, extra large, a little big. But uh, yeah, I like these kind of uh, button, down, button up shirts by Old Nate. Another, this type of, I'm just drawn to this type of uh, sort of boho look, I guess. Uh, has elastic sleeves. This is a shorter, shorter one in this mustard color. This is by Aldered State in a medium. And this button's all the way down the back. But you could just pull this over. You wouldn't have to unbutton it every time you took it on and off. Uh, yeah, it's sort of a crepey fabric. I didn't look at what the fabric was. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, this is rayon. Well, it washed really well. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Arteric, uh, archaic, 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 archaic. I used to buy these all the, all, see these all the time at that other Goodwill I went to that was by where I get my hair cut. And I haven't seen these in a while. But there it was, right on the end of an aisle. And I looked it up, and they're still going around $30. So I picked this one up, and it's a nice purpley color. It has a design on the back. This one doesn't have a big cross on it. They usually have a big cross. This one is more floral. But it is a size uh, medium. I got that. Uh, another Knox Rose. This isn't your normal Knox Rose, though. Uh, this is a medium. It does have a little bit of crochet or embroidery, I mean, here. Just a little bit. But it's just sort of a lightweight, uh, what is that, a sort of a weave, lightweight, uh, I don't know what you call that. Yeah, sort of different. V-neck, high-low hem, <clears throat> long sleeve, the medium. And one more. Now I didn't I didn't go in the men's department at all. 
I was just too tired <laughs> at the at that point. I had intended on going there, and I also wanted to go to the dresses. And it, it just, you know, I can only do so much and no more. So I was going along when I was really tired. I was going along just feeling, you know how you go along, you sort of just feel the fabrics. Because I can usually pick out linen. Uh, so I picked this out, and yes, it's 100% linen. It's by Land's End, and it's a medium. But when I looked at it, it said 15, 15 and a half. And then I looked at the buttons, and this is a men's. This is a men's medium uh, shirt. Looks a little small. Uh, I have to say pay attention to the uh, linen can shrink. So I would say pay attention to the uh, measurements. But it's a really nice linen, cool looking shirt for summer. Just a button up sh short sleeve shirt by Land's End. And that's my one piece of men's uh, that I got. Okay. The main thing is purple, yeah. Uh, cute, they gauzy. I don't know why my picture keeps going in and out. Did you see that? Main thing is purple, yeah. <laughs> oh, that medium, it looks like a medium to you? Okay. Uh, gauzy, crepey are good keywords for that. Altered state. You don't think the weight or brand matters for chambray? I, yeah, I don't either. J. Jill has been given a bad rap. I think you'll do fine, especially with larger sizes. I like J. Jill. I don't know. Yeah, Bowden and Knox Rose smocked. Okay, now I have to tell you about my garden. So far, out front, I can see it from here, which is nice. I have planted my lettuces, spinaches. I planted on the fence so it couldn't climb up. Maybe I can make it climb up is my zucchini. And along the fence, I planted sunflowers. That's what I've planted so far. So I it took me two days to do those few little rows. I think I took three breaks in between and came in and laid down. But I also found my stretchy hose in the basement. So it did not get thrown out when I had my basement cleaned. Uh, I hooked it up out there. It's all set. And uh, I can see my garden really easy from here. My other one where my raised beds are, you have to go outside and go across and to see it. This one I can keep watch on. Now, as soon as I planted these, all my lettuces are all in a long row. My spinach and that. I'm I'm like... I was afraid to go to bed for fear the rabbits would just eat the whole thing after all that. But I woke up in the morning. It was still there. Still looks the same. Still looks the same today. And I'm, you know, in the backyard every night I see two bunnies. And I'm afraid little Peter Rabbit will come along and just... It's like I set out a banquet for the rabbits. So I hope, I hope I can keep these because there's, they're not covered. There's no fencing, you know, to keep rabbits out or anything. There's no way for me to do that. So I'm just hoping for the best. I have the whole set of these Beatrix, Pot, Beatrix Potter little books. They're little miniature books. 
Uh, there's a whole lot of them. I'll have to bring them over and show them. I'm not going to sell them. I like them too much. And yeah, just a little story of Peter Rabbit here. And hi, Diane. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue on. Uh, in my other garden outside the picket fence, uh, I'm going to put f more flowers. Inside is going to be the vegetables and the herbs on the other side. So when I get everything planted, I will do a garden walk for one of these videos. I hope, <laughs> I hope that my veggies are still there. You know, both of my knockout roses, I had them for about maybe f four years or so. Both of them look like they're, they're not going to come back. I don't see any new growth on them. And also my climbing rose, which wasn't doing too good last year either. It's by the kitchen porch. There's one stalk that's green. The rest I can break right off. So it's it's dead. I'm going to have to trim it way back to practically the ground and see what happens. Yeah, it evidently wasn't a good year for roses. So I'm in the process of doing my garden, getting my plants that I uh, did my winter seed sowing. I'm going to plant my pumpkin in my compost pile. Also, did I tell you uh, when I was trying to clear out some of the weeds from the compost pile, I came across my potato plants. I planted some potatoes that had gone to seed. My just they aren't seed potatoes. They're you know you can plant any potatoes that start growing in your pantry. So that's what I did. I just put them in my compost pile, and I have three at least three plants three potato plants coming up. So yay. I also, you know, I throw away onion, I throw away all table scraps and things when I'm cooking. So I had thrown away the bottom part of an onion, the part with the roots. It grew me a whole new onion. I mean, it was this big, a whole new onion. So I've already used it. Oh, let me see here. Yes, rabbits ate the flocks flowers that Mr. Bumblebee planted. Ah, oh, we love those books. Tell the bunnies to let them grow. So it's getting up for both of you. Right. I have a lot of wild flocks uh, around. Uh I have a birdhouse just, just sitting on the railing of my kitchen porch. It's just a little birdhouse, an old one, just sitting there. And I'm seeing a little uh, ran, ran, the kind, those tiny little wrens with their tail goes straight up in the air. Uh, yes, and if you get near where they have a nest or they're in the... I don't know if he's making in she's making a nest in there. She's just using the box to go in. Sometimes they don't, where you see them, that's not really where they have their nest. But they are the chatterers. They chatter, chatter, chatter at you if you go near their nest. So I'll have to go out on the porch and sit and see if she has a fit. That's how I can tell if there's a nest nearby. I mean, they'll just drive you crazy. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, what else was I going to have wrote some things down? I've been watching McFrissy. She's She gets such amazing things at her. She shops mostly at the bins in Texas. But a lot of the styles she buys are the styles that I put, you know, that I list. 
but she gets just better brands usually. So I like to watch her do her shipping. Uh, Silver Owl, I don't know if you're here today or not, but if you are, hi. Uh, I watch her every morning. Uh, she mentioned the other day that she uh, uses a cane, but she goes shopping a lot more than I do. Uh, but she has her husband that goes with her, I think, and he helps do her listing with her. Uh, it would be so helpful to have two people. I can see that now. Uh, I use, if you're here, Silver Owl, I use a walking stick, too. Uh, mo not so much when I'm out in the stores, because I use a basket to hang on to. But my balance is so screwed up that like when I walk around the property, like gardening or anything like that, I have a walking stick. It's tall. It's made out of an old branch or something. I don't know. <clears throat> yes. Uh, I had groceries. Still. I, I did go grocery shopping like a week ago which was like when I went to Walmart, it was exhausting. So I decided to order from uh, Instacart. Uh, so I went to Instacart and got, a, got an Aldi, small Aldi order. With a small Aldi order, by the time I did the tip and everything else, ends up being $60 for these few things that I ordered. So, yes, it's much cheaper getting it yourself, but I don't know. It's a whole lot more work and exhausting for me to do it anymore. I know Silver Owl likes to have her things delivered, too. Me, too. <laughs> 471 subs past 450 and on the way to 500. Yes. Uh, Silver Owl has passed her 500 mark. Yay. <clears throat> uh, yes, I also started doing the fasting, intermittent fasting again. I thought I'd give it another try. Well, the first couple days it was okay. I'm on the fourth day, I think. Fourth or fifth day. Fourth, I think. And I'm just not feeling... Well, you're supposed to feel better. I don't know if I'm not eating enough. I am I get dizzy. Uh, the hardest time for me is in the morning because I get up like 8 o'clock and I can't eat till 10.30 because <laughs> I stop eating in the evening at 6.30. So I have to go 16 hours without eating. I'm on the 16-8. I can eat for eight hours now. I'm in the eating. I can eat till 6.30. I have my supper already. I have my turkey burgers made. They're all ready to put in the pan. And I have cut up potatoes and I have to do some sort of a vegetable. Uh, but as soon as I get done here, I will eat. And then by the time I finish all that up, it'll be 6.30 and I have to stop eating. It's just too, for me, it's just too long of a time. I don't know if there's another time. I'll have to look up different times, but this isn't working out very well for me. And I know it's too soon I haven't lost one ounce. <laughs> I have lost my, I, I'm not bloated enough. Is this too much for you two? <laughs> you know, I get bloated when I eat all the time. That's not happening, which is good. But I don't, I'm not losing any weight. It's just, you know, that comes and goes. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm missing my root beer and pretzels in the evening. 
So I don't know if I'll try, keep trying or not, or if I'll change it a little bit. I am drinking. I am drinking, and I, I am drinking uh, something with some electrolytes in it. Right. Because the only, when you're starving, if you drink water, it at least helps a little bit. But I am drinking this during the day. However, you can't drink this. You can't drink this when you're fasting. It has sugar in it. You can only drink, when you're fasting, you can only drink water, tea with nothing in it, or black coffee. That's about it. That doesn't really help. <laughs> I don't know. Has anybody here tried the fasting thing? I'm doing it mostly not to really lose weight. I'm losing I'm doing it to lose my belly. That part of the weight. Uh, you know, I don't want to lose if I lost more than 10 pounds, I'd be upset. I don't want to lose, you know, a bunch of weight. I'm just trying to lose my belly. I don't like being bloated, of course. Yeah. So that's about what I have for today. Uh, over the weekend, if I get my... Well, I'll see you Sunday for what's sold for the week. Hasn't been a great week either. And I will, uh, I know I'm getting another box from Bumblebee. I don't know when the May box will come, but I need your, for keywords, I need your invoice for this bunch of, the, I've already listed. And uh, if I do, after Sunday, if I uh, get my flowers, everything planted, we will go on a garden walk and see my baby plants where they ended up. Diane says you couldn't do it. I know it's not fun. And I often think, you know, I go, I go between trying, wanting to try it and then going to, what am I doing this for? I'm 81. I should eat what I want. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm just hoping Jesus comes back. We're having all the signs. Keep watching in the air, in the atmosphere. <laughs> uh, all the signs are here. Of course, they could go on for years, but you never know. You don't know. Uh All right, I will. I've been watching a pe preacher on YouTube. I, I watched several, but the one I just found, Jack Hibbs. Has anybody watched him? H I B B S, Hibbs. Jack Hibbs. He teaches the Bible, just the Bible. And very, very interesting. So. I'm going to go eat my supper because I'm starving. <laughs> and I have to get all this food in me by 6.30 if I continue this. But. So I'm having turkey burgers, potatoes, and some sort of veggie. And I will see you on Sunday. Thank you for coming. Thanks for joining. And I will uh, see you then. Bye.